How fast do trees grow? I remember planting some of these trees when I was a young kid. Back in the early 80s, we reforested this part of the family ranch. In 40 years, they've gotten to be this big. Well, there's your answer. It takes 40 years for a tree to get this size. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like it. Nah, I'm just kidding you. There's more to it than that. This is an example of a prime tree growing site. It's a semi-coastal area, gets plenty of rainfall, mild summers, it doesn't get too hot, good soils. These trees are doing very well. With a lot of trees, especially conifers like these Douglas fir, it can be really easy to see their rate of growth in height. Just by looking at the whirls of branches that radiate around the tree. There's a whirl here, a whirl here. The distance between those whirls is how much the tree grows in one growing season, in one year. As the tree grows, it sends up a leader. Where that leader stops, it creates its buds for the next year. When those buds start growing, they send out this whirl of branches and another leader. Where that leader stops, it makes buds for the next year. When it starts growing, it makes that whirl and sends up another leader. The distance between those whirls is how much it grows each year. If there's a lot of space between whirls, that means the tree's growing faster. If there's less space between the whirls, that means the tree's growing slower. It might be easier to see on this downed tree, there's a whirl here, a whirl here. The space between here and here is how much it grew in a year. The space between here and here is how much it grew the next year. It's not uncommon to have minor branching in between, those don't count. It's the major whirls. Some species of trees and some individual trees show this spacing in between whirls better than others. Here we can see it in real time in these young trees. These are slow growing trees because they're in the shade of these bigger trees. From this whirl to this whirl is what it grew in a year. Then to this whirl the next year, these little branches don't count. This leader on top is how much it grew this year. Over here we have a faster growing tree. That leader on top is how much it grew this year. I can tell these trees are really fast growing because they have really long leaders on them. This one's over three feet long, means that tree is growing more than three feet tall per year. Similar with pines like these ponderosa pines, you can see the space between branch whirls, between that whirl and that whirl is how fast it grew that year. You can look up the tree and get a little history of how fast this tree grew over the years by looking at the space between the branch whirls. If you look at the leader on top, you can see how fast it grew this year or in the last growing season. With broadleaf trees, it can be more difficult. With a lot of species, there's not a lot of clear branch whirls. Branching can be a little more random. On this one, I can tell from about here to here is new growth. The brown part of this stem is more mature. It gets greener as we go into younger wood. Somewhere in this color transition is where this year's growth started. With some types of trees, it can be hard to tell where the new growth starts. A drone is more obvious. It tends to have the branch whirls like the conifers do. And the obvious color separation between the darker last year's growth and the green this year's growth. The false cedars we have in North America and redwoods can also be more difficult. There's the darker last year's growth. The green growth is this year's growth. With broadleaf trees, it can be more difficult. A lot of times it depends on the species, but maybe with what I've told you, you have enough tools, you can figure it out with whatever species you're looking at. A lot of times, if you look at them close enough, you can see ways to delineate between the different years of growth. Determining the rate of growth and diameter is not always so easy to see from the outside, but there are ways. An obvious way to tell how fast they're growing, if you know how old they are, find out the diameter. It's about seven foot three inches in circumference. Since I don't have my diameter tape here, we can use the circumference 7.25 divided by 3.14 equals 2.3 feet, which is 24, 25, 6, 28, 28 inches at breast height in diameter. If we take that 28, divide that by 42, which I think is about the age of this tree, 
we get 0.6666 inches per year. Well, that means this tree is growing 0.66 inches or two thirds of an inch per year at breast height or slightly above breast height because that's where the good knots were to hold my tape up. Not that I needed them. Not that I needed them. Of course, this only gives us its average rate of growth over its lifetime, not its growth rate at any given time. Sometimes it may have been growing slower than that, sometimes it may have been growing faster than that, but that's the average. If you don't know the age of the tree, a more accurate and more invasive way to determine the rate of growth and diameter would be to use an increment borer. With an increment borer, you can bore into the tree and pull out a core sample. If you look at the space between the rings on that core sample, that tells you how fast the tree is growing in diameter on any given year. I would demonstrate, but I don't have an increment borer here at the ranch. I have one back home, but that's a long way away. It's probably silly for me to be doing this video when I don't have an increment borer, but I don't have one. Maybe I'll have to do another video on how to use one of those. They can be damaging to some types of trees. Conifers especially, not so much, but some hardwoods, some claim they can do damage, possibly damage to the wood. It can introduce decay into the wood. Do your research, use with caution. Since I don't have an increment borer here, we can look at the rings on a fresh cut stump to get the general idea. I don't know of any fresh cut stumps around here because nobody's been cutting trees around here, but if we go up the mountain, I know where there is one. For those who watch this channel regularly, you might be getting tired of looking at this stump and watching clips of this tree falling down over and over again, that's really getting old. But maybe this will be the last time you'll have to look at it, then we'll put this stump to rest at least as far as its video career goes. But before we put this stump's video career to rest, I think we should give it a retirement party by looking at its rings. Most of us probably know about tree rings, but how much do we know about them? Yeah, yeah, I know, cut these off, they're dangerous, whatever. I think it's common knowledge that if you count the rings on a tree, you can tell how old the tree is. Or more accurately, if you counted the rings right here, that would tell you how old the tree is from this part up. If you want the true age of the tree, you have to count the rings at ground level where the tree started. But I'm not going to count the rings today because that would be a lot of counting and I just don't want to count that high today. Instead, we're gonna look at the rings today to see how fast the tree was growing. If you look at the width between the rings, that tells you how fast the tree was growing each year. The center of the tree is of course where the tree started growing, growing at a fairly consistent rate Right about here, the rings start getting a little bit wider, which means the tree started growing faster. At about this point, starting from the one inch mark, this ring is about 3 16ths of an inch wide. Since these rings are about 3 16ths of an inch apart, that means this tree is growing 3 16ths of an inch each year in this direction. But it's also growing that much this direction on the other side. To find out how fast the tree was growing on any given year, you would have to take that ring for that given year and multiply the width by two because it's growing that much on this side of the center and that much on that side of the center. Which means this tree was growing about three eighths of an inch in diameter each year at this point. Assuming both sides are the same, most of the time they are generally the same with some variation. And in some cases there can be huge variation if it's a leaning tree or has other factors. At around eight inches from the center, this tree got really excited for some reason and started growing much faster. These rings here are wider. At that point, they are about three eighths of an inch apart. It's growing three eighths of an inch on this side of the center, plus three eighths of an inch on the other side of the center. This tree was growing three quarters of an inch in diameter per year. That's fast. After that, it had its ups and its downs, just like anyone else. Some years it grew faster, some years it grew slower. Then when it got into its old age, it really started slowing down, just like anyone else. Then the ring started getting really tight in its final years, where it finally died right here. And that's when I came along and cut it down. And we all got to watch it fall down and go boom, over and over, because I kept playing that clip over and over and over. Every stinking video, I'd play that clip. It's really getting old. Please don't make me have to watch this tree fall down again. 
any of who, if you have an increment borer, you can bore into the tree, pull out a core sample, and look at the rings that way without having to cut the tree down. But I don't have one here. So we're not doing that today. Thank you, Stump. I think we're done with you. Let's go back down to the hill. Back down to the hill? No, back down the hill to all those trees I planted. Yeah. Wait, no. We are not going down the hill. We're going down the mountain. There's a big difference. Okay, here we are down the mountain and back up the hill. Although I'm not sure why we needed to come back here. I think I was pretty much done with this spot. There is one more thing I want to show you, and that's a quick way to look at a tree and see if it's a fast growing tree or a slower growing tree, which I could have just as easily done up the mountain where we were. If you look at the bark on a tree, there's usually a general color that it weathers to. With Douglas fir, it's usually this grayish color, grayish brown. I think I know my colors. But if you look inside these furrows, a lot of times you'll find a different colored bark. This is more of a brownish color. These furrows are like stretch marks. As the tree grows inside the bark, the bark has to stretch apart to accommodate the growth. A new bark is also forming underneath. This lighter colored wood is the newly pulled apart exposed bark. It hasn't been exposed long enough to weather compared to this outer bark. That means it's a faster growing tree than one like this that doesn't have that lighter colored bark inside the stretch marks. This tree is growing so slow, the newly exposed bark inside the stretch marks is weathering faster than it's being exposed. Over here is more of a mediumly growing tree mediumly. It does have some lighter bark between the stretch marks, but not as much as the first tree we looked at. With these few tools, now maybe when you're wandering around looking at trees, you'll look at them a little bit differently. That is, if you didn't already know this stuff before. There you go, an incomplete video about how to tell how fast a tree's growing. Maybe someday I'll do a more complete one with an increment borer. <laughs> I was just kidding, it never gets old. <laughs>